Hello everyone, I'm John of All Games, and today I wanted to show you how to set up a Cube World multiplayer server so that you can play with your friends. If you don't know what Cube World is, well, you should check it out. The link will be below for that game. But most likely you came here because you searched for how to set up a Cube World server, and that's what I am going to show you how to do. It's relatively simple. Just navigate to the place you installed Cube World. Uh, for most people, it'll be your local disk. C program files x86 if you're on 64-bit Windows. It'll just be program files if you're on 32-bit Windows. Uh, go there, it'll be Cube World. Mine is empty because I actually installed it to another drive where I install all of my games. So anyways, pretend that's where I'm at. You just scroll down, and right here you'll see server.exe. You run it, and that's it. You're done, for the most part. Now, while this is a lot more uh, simple, uh, it is also a lot more limited than, say, Minecraft servers in your options. Right here, there's a server config file. The only thing that you can do with that right now is change this number here, which is your seed number. It'll be randomly generated if you uh, let it be, or you can enter in any seed number you want right there. So your server's running. How do you get your friends to actually connect to it? Well, the port that you use is 12345, and you cannot change that right now. That's just the way it is. It's another part of it being alpha and being limited. But you need to have that port be forwarded, most likely, so that your friends can connect. You can try and have them connect without doing it, uh, but if you, most people need to forward the port anyways. Uh, you need to find out your, your WAN IP, and to do that, just go to Google and type, What's my IP? Give your friend that number. Have them try and connect, and then you'll know if you need to port forward or not. If you do need to port forward... Bring up a web browser, go to portforward.com. Probably is the best way to do it. It's a great guide. I'm not going to tell you how to do a million different routers or forwarding them. Anyways, it tells their supported routers there. They even have an application you can download and install that basically does all of the work for you. Um, the other way you could do it is using a program called Hamachi. And if you've been around since the Minecraft tutorial days, which is how I started my channel here, uh, you'll remember hearing about this program. And uh, I might as well just link it to my other video. I'm not going to get into that right now, at least not in this video, but because my other video explains it fairly well, it applies. Same, same rules apply, so click here if you want to go see how to use Hamachi, which basically just makes a sort of tunnel through the internet to your friends or, well, whoever you add to the network so that you don't have to do any of the port forwarding. It's not the best thing in the world, but it does work if you seriously don't want to try to port forward. Do that, just make sure you trust the people that you have joining your network because they can access, you know, like printers and things like that if they know how. Okay, so run Cube World now so we can connect to your server. Hit start game, choose one of your characters, go to multiplayer worlds. Actually, you don't even have to click on multiplayer worlds. worlds. You just go to connect to server. Uh, since you're connecting to your own server, you can either type out your uh, home, you know, the uh, your computer's IP address, which since you're connecting to your own computer, it'd just be 127.0.0.1. But even simpler than that, just type in one word, localhost, hit connect, and you'll connect to your own server, which you'll be able to see right here in the server exe. You can see that it says player zero joined and waiting for more connections. So that's all there is to it. Like I said, it's pretty simple still right now because it's an alpha. There's not a lot you can do. You can't change a lot of options on the server. There's just not as much as maybe some people are used to with their Minecraft servers. And also, if you don't want to leave your computer on all day and all night so that your friends can connect and play Cube World on the server that you hosted and port forward and did all those things, you do have the option to rent one. And I have a preferred place for you to go rent one if you want. Just click this annotation right here, and it'll take you right to that. You can rent a server for 10 players for $8.40. And I appreciate it very much if you go there and you choose to rent your server there because that helps me out just a little bit. And also, while you're there, you can check out their voice servers so that you can rent a you can rent a Mumble or a TeamSpeak server uh, through them also for pretty cheap. So check all that out if you don't want to do the port forwarding or the Hamachi or all that stuff. Uh, it's actually a very great site for renting lots of servers. I mean, Counter-Strike and Call of Duty and Battlefield and, of course, Minecraft. So check all that out. I just wanted to make this little tutorial for you guys, like I said, to tell you how to get the server up and running and uh, and of course again here's the annotation in the middle for the Hamachi if you do want to see how to do that it's an older video from a little over a year ago but the, uh, the method is still solid for how to use Hamachi and connect so click there if you want to watch that thanks so much for watching I will see you next time